What is up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm playing with babies. Yes, these are Little Cup Pokemon. I've set up a small tour with some friends of mine for just Little Cup VGC. So basically, any Pokemon legal in doubles Little Cup, but we just play at level 50 VGC rules. Uh, that means there's item claws, that means some things that couldn't have moved at level 5 can have them. There's some slight changes. Uh, but basically, I have no idea what's good, and I have no idea what's bad, but neither do any of my friends. So <laughs> we just pick some stuff that we think will work, and we're gonna throw it at each other, and the babies will just have fun on the field. We'll see what happens. Uh, but anyway, the strategy I went with is, I saw Mudbray had a pretty high attack stat for a little cut Pokemon. It's like 100. Uh, so I'm gonna focus on that. I gave it Eviolite to be bulky, because you get one Eviolite. Uh, and then I'm going with a curse set because it's very slow. I'm just going to bulk up my defense and attack and then sweep with high horsepower and rock slide, hopefully. To keep it safe, we've got Fake Out Mind Food. We've got Fake Out Litten with Intimidate and Will O Wisp. We've got Polchageist with Hospitality, just like its evolved form, though it has to have Giga Drain because you don't get Macha Gacha. Uh, and then just some other, I hope, strong Pokemon. Uh, we've got Volibee here with Toxic Snarl, Brave Bird Protect, and Overcoat to ignore, like, Fungus or rival rage powders. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen uh, And also Chinchu. Chinchu is something that I know was good in Little Cup back in like Gen 5 or 6 But that was in singles uh, So I hope it's good. Uh, I just slapped a choice specs on it uh, With just powerful moves because it gets scald There are only two Little Cup Pokemon in the, that are legal that get scald and it's Chinchu and Polchageist So like sure I'll go with scald. Uh, makes a good fire water grass core here, and it's a good move. Uh, and then Mindfu and Mudbray are both inner focus. So if there's rival Littens that we run into, or I don't know what else gets intimidate. Scraggy? Uh, Growlithe maybe? I don't know what we're gonna see. Uh, but we'll be immune to intimidate and we'll be immune to fake out. Uh, but anyways, I'm excited to get into this. Let's see how it goes. Alright, here we are with John Luke VGC. They got Scarf Litten, Assault Vest Clauncher. Uh, Eviolite Voltorb, cool. Life Orb, Gale Wings, Fletchling, that's sick. With Tailwind, uh, Fake Out, Drain Punch, U-Turn, Knock Off, Clear Amulet, Regenerator, Mind Food, that's cool. And a Mudbray of their own with just three attacks, including Heavy Slam, interesting. Mudbray does have Inner Focus, okay. What do I think is good here? I think Chinchu is really good here. Uh, I just have to stay away from Mudbray. And I guess Giga Drains? Uh, yeah, I guess I could tear it into grass, but then I'd be afraid of Litten. Um, and also... Getting Brave Birded. Alright, uh, I like Mudbray a lot. Do I just go Terra Steel right away? Probably not, but it's good. Maybe I put him with Mind Foo. Get a Fake Out, and a Curse Up. Could be good. I want Poltergeist just to give it some healing, and then I guess Chinchu. I like Chinchu. I don't love Litten here. Overheat doesn't do much to their team. will o -Wisp would be nice on like just Mudbright, but that's the thing that can't be intimidated, and it can probably still Oko me even if I burn it. So that's what I'm going with. All right. All right, let's see what, they, let's see what we can do. Surprised they didn't bring Munchlax, but all right. Also, there's some overlap here. We both have Mudbray, we both have Mind Food. Both have Litten. Oh, Litten and Mudbray! All right, Mudbray's on both sides. Yeah, we got the Inner Focus, and also the Inner Focus. All right, uh, Mudbray has Inner Focus. But Litten, it's Terra Ghost. You turn Flare Blitz, Crunch, Shadow Claw. I'm not too scared of anything it does. Their Mudbray has a Citrus Berry. I think I'm happy to get Cursed up just to get a defense boost. And then, do I throw Fake Out to force the Terra on Litten? I think that's the best thing I could do. Yeah, if you Terra around the Fake Out, that's fine. Okay, it's a hard swap too, that's fine too. Just to keep that slot locked down. Launcher, cool. Good damage. 
and a high horsepower into my mind too. That'll take me down to sash for sure, yeah. And let me curse up. Alright, so from Clauncher we've got Assault Vest. I have to worry about Water Pulse, and if I steal Terra, I have to worry about Aura Sphere. And also, high horsepower. I could go to Poltergeist to threaten it, or Rage Powder, but it's Terra Grass. So I think what I want to do is just throw a close combat, see what it can do, and just protect Mudbray. Should I burn Terra right now? What does their Voltorb have? Just Giga Drain? Yeah, actually, I'm gonna high horsepower their Mudbray. Terra fighting close combat. Get rid of Clauncher for sure. I want that thing out of here. If I get that thing out of here, Mudbray's in a great position, I think. Alright, let's see if we can get an Oko right here, right now. Mindfu, I believe in you. You've got like an 85 base attack. That's high in this. And that fake out did some damage. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here, shrimp. Okay. Uh, I imagine their Mudbray is gonna finish off Mindfu, though. With a heavy slam, sure. Okay. Fair enough. I will take that trade. That is a good trade for me. Plus, if I connect this plus one high horsepower, it's gonna hurt. This should hurt a lot. Yeah, that hurts a lot. Good. I like to see that that hurts a lot. Alright, they've got Litten, and we don't know what the last is. I'm not worried about Fletchling. I'm not worried about their Mind Foo. I guess they could have Knock Off with Mind Foo. The thing I'm most worried about would be Voltorb. If it is Voltorb, I can maybe set Trick Room on it. Yeah, so Poltergeist is the way. I think I could probably pull it off. I would have to not get, like, flinched. Ah, here's Litten again. Okay. Fine by me. I think I want to go for another high horsepower into their Mudbray. And get Poltergeist out, because I, I'm liable to get Flare Blitzed here. I don't have Protect. They know I don't have Protect. I already burned Terra. Flare Blitz is free and probably Oko's. So I'm gonna just go into Chinchu. Plus then if Mudbray takes damage, I can heal it up again. I don't like risking Chinchu like this. There's no way a high horsepower would be going into that slot though. Okay, we've got a Terra. A Ghost Terra, ooh. That's to live a potential rock side if I went for it? Or are you gonna lock into Shadow Claw? Okay, it's still Flare Blitz. That's good. That does some damage. <laughs> that kinda hurt a little. There's their high horsepower into me. We eat that. Here's my ho high horsepower into you. You don't eat that. It was a crit, but that was gonna KO from there anyway. We saw it do like 75% last turn. Beautiful. And I can heal up that damage I took. And their last is Edwin. Which is Fletchling. What do you got, Fletchling? Taunt, Tailwind, Brave Bird. Brave Bird plus Flare Blitz you're locked into. Chinchu can handle that. I think then I throw High Horsepower over at the Litten. And Volt switch out on their Fletchling. Okay, here's a Brave Bird. That does so much damage! Why are you doing so much damage? Oh, okay, did you double into that then? Yeah, okay, you're gone. Sorry, Chinchu, you you took a lot of hits to go down. I'm proud of you. Now Mudbray just needs to connect some moves and we win the game. Right? Yeah, that should KO. It does, good. 
But Terra did not save you after the re after the recoil and my plus one. I think at neutral that would easily save it. Alright. Poltergeist is gonna go down to a Brave Bird. So the story is we need to land a rock slide. Yeah, that's the way it is. I'll Rage Powder just in case they go for Mud Bray and crit it somehow. This is probably fine. Brave Bird should Oko Poltergeist. Yeah, after seeing what it did at Chinchu, Poltergeist has no shot. How much recoil was that? Alright, we're gonna have to hit a Rock Slide eventually. There it is. Beautiful. Actually, I wonder if Life Orb would take it out eventually. <laughs> But that works. GG. Let's go on to game number two. Alright, this time around, how do we want to handle it? Um, Litten, from their end, was pretty useless. I wonder if they hold it this time. Uh, they could easily lead two inner focus mons, making Mind Foo pretty hard to use. They could have Terra Ghosted the Litten earlier. They have Terra Ghost on Fletchling as well. But I think the answer's still Mudbray and keep it safe. So it's Mudbray, something, Poltergeist, something else. I like Chinchu. As one of the few one of the only things on my team that can actually take a Brave Bird, I need it. So I think Mind Food, Chincho. And it doesn't have to be Poltergeist. It could be Vullaby, but Vullaby doesn't really help me in the changeup. And they've got Rock Slide, they've got a potential changeup for Thunderbolt on their Voltorb. I like Poltergeist last. I think this is fine. I, yeah, I do think the changeup could be Voltorb, uh, just to threaten with a grass move that I have to put my Terra somewhere else. Forcing me to Terra Mudbray is not something I want to do. Because of the Flare Blitz damage. And their own Mind Foo, and a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, that's the change up. There's a Voltorb. Cool. Um. They both have Protect. But if you Protect, I could get a Curse. So maybe that's just what I do. I fake out Voltorb and Curse. Then I could get taunted. Alright, I'm gonna Rock Slide. And I'm gonna fake out the Voltorb. There's a Terra. Voltorb is not Terra Ghost. So I, I faked out the right slot. Okay. They really want this Brave Bird. Um, they could try to double Mind Foo, they could try to double Mud Bray. Oh, it's a Protect Terra Ghost, just to get a free hit off, huh? And then Rock Slide isn't gonna KO. Oh yeah, they just take their free hit on Mind Foo, that makes sense. How much do we do with this rock slide? Can we Oko Fletchling from here? I don't know. No, not quite. Okay. I guess Terra Steel High Horsepower is the way, but they've got Terra... They're not terrified. They've got Eviolite on that Voltorb. That's gonna be hard to break through. I feel like this would be a Giga Drain and a Brave Bird. But if I swap both, I'm not in a much better position. Uh, I think I could just protect Mudbray here and bring in Chinchu. Then at least I can threaten something else. 
Because if the Fletchling hits my Chinchu, I think it goes down to Life Orb plus Recoil. If the Voltorb reads this and Giga Drains, that's scary. Okay, it's Volt Switch. Cool. Caught that. And they taunt into Mudbray. Alright. Well, now I've got two Grass Weaknesses for you to play with. Mudbray can definitely take a Giga Drain. Chinchu is a lot scarier. Uh, but would you call a Terra Grass? I don't know, maybe. I think I'm gonna Terra Steel. High horsepower the Voltorb. And also just try to Ice Beam the Voltorb. I don't know if I'm gonna get all of this off though. Uh, there's no way Mudbray goes down this turn. Zero chance much right. Even if they read it and go for a Thunderbolt, it, it's not going to do enough. I am worried about Chinchu fainting this turn. Oh, Giga Drain into Mudbray. Perfect. That could not be better. And a Brave Bird also into Mudbray. So good. So good. That Recoil plus Life Orb takes you out, right? Good. Cool. Alright. The double into Voltorb, I, it, through Eviolite, it's hard to say, but I think we get it. It's a choice spec size game. Plus a high horsepower. Oh! Okay, Ice Beam was enough. <laughs> Chinchu! Chinchu's been doing so much damage. Oh, choice specs, Chinchu can hit. Alright. Love it. Alright, show me your last two. Show me it's not a bunch of stuff that hits my Steel Mudbray. That hits my Steel Mudbray. And who was Susie? That hits my Steel Mudbray. Okay, Mudbray's not having a great time. They don't have any Protects. I Protect on Mudbray. But can I take an Aura Sphere, or a Drain Punch, or both? Uh, Chinchu swapping seems too obvious. Protect Mudbray, swap into Poltergeist. That, that's fine. I think it's fine. Because then I can redirect both of their moves. Because they've already burned Terra. Yeah, this works. As long as <laughs> Poltergeist gets through this turn, I mean, this might be readable. If they chose to read it, it's a little bold, but it's not too crazy. Okay, a Drain Punch does not affect Poltergeist or a Sphere into Mudbray. Okay, fine. Okay, I'm going to Rage Powder, and then I'm going to take a Knock Off to the face. Then I'm probably going to take a Dark Pulse to the face, because, like, they're not going to let Poltergeist get away with it. But, that means I can high horsepower something. And I'm going to click it on Clauncher. Yeah, because Mind Food can heal up a Drain Punch, so I want to try to do as much damage as I can to Clauncher, because that's more permanent. Alright, come on over here, hit me. Please don't oko me with knockoff. I don't think it does. Good. But yeah, the double up should. It probably is a dark pulse. Oh, it's an Aura Sphere! Nice. So nice. My horsepower does great damage, too. Okay, so we're gonna take an Aura Sphere on Mudbray. Then we're gonna knock you out in return. I think that's fair. I'll take that trade deal. Alright, there's the knockoff. There goes Poltergeist. Okay. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt a lot. I think. Unless Clauncher is actually weak. I've never looked at its stats one time in my life. Oh, it wasn't so bad. 
That wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Mudbury's kind of a beast, huh? And they've got a Regenerator Mind Foo, so I can get a free Fake Out turn into it. My best bet, High Horsepower or Curse? I think it's High Horsepower. High Horsepower, Fake Out. Into CC and High Horsepower again. Unless this takes out? No, it doesn't take it out. Okay. Uh, they're gonna Drain Punch Mudbray. To cover for that, I should do nothing, because if they outspeed my Mind Foo and KO it, then I'm sunk. High Horsepower. Close combat. Either one of those knocks out. We get the speed tie, or we were just faster, and get the KO. That is game two. GG. Well played, John Luke. That was fun. These babies are so fun. <laughs> Mudbray's just a beast. GG's. Alright, here we are. Versus Darth. Uh, okay, that way Coco is unaware. Snarl, Will O Wisp, Roar, Flamethrower, Cool, Clauncher. Uh, with an Assault Vest set, Munchlax, Aya Papa Berry, Belly, Belly Drum Gluttony, oh cool, cool. Uh, Trick Room Hatterene, Hatena, not Hatterene. Uh, Drifloon with Flare Boost, Flame Orb, oh that's sick. I wonder if that works as a Drifloon. No, Drifloon's not good. Uh, and then a Fungus, oh Fungus with Eevee Light, that's gonna be impossible to break. Okay. Uh, where's my Spore Immunities? Vullaby, yeah. Poltergeist, yeah. Oh, I got Terra Grass on this, I think. Alright, I'm gonna need that. How am I going to get through Munchlax? With Mind Foo. Mind Foo's coming. Uh, I can do a lot with a Fake Out lead. In fact, maybe Fake Out plus Chincho can do a ton of damage. I also have Terra Grass to ignore uh, Rage Powder or Spore on this. Uh, and then maybe just some of my best Pokemon. I know Mudbray is like one of my most solid Mons. It's got a couple weaknesses here. Do I want to do Vullaby instead? Vullaby's good with Snarl. Yo, Vullaby's really good. The question is, uh, I don't think I want Poltergeist. It's either Litten or Mudbray. And I'm not sure which one to bring. The Intimidate isn't that valuable, so I'm gonna bring Mudbray. Alright, locking that in. Yeah, cause like, Munchlax has Facade and Belly Drum, so it's not like Litten does much to it. Oh, I can't like, burn it, it'll just get stronger. Well, that's a cool card. You know, I have all of the uh, Alchemy forms, including the Shinies. I, I went crazy hunting that thing. I love that Pokemon. All right. Chinchu and Mindfu versus Hatena and Fungus. Oh, they're so small. Oh, wow. Okay, Hatena, they're probably gonna go Rage Powder and Trick Room. They've got Covert Cloak on Hatena. Terra Water on Hatena. Uh, I can just fake out the Fungus for free and throw a big move into Hatena. Don't need to burn Terra just yet. Fake out the Fungus. Do I want to Volt Switch? I think I do want to Volt Switch. Because I have an Overcoat Pokemon. I can just ignore Rage Powder with that. Alright, flinch your Fungus. Volt Switch out of here. Good damage. Uh, I don't know if Thunderbolt would have done it. They are going to get up Trick Room. But Volibee's not really afraid of anything there. I guess they got Gleam on Hatena, but it's not Stab. I can also bring in Mudbray here. Might be slower. I don't know. I don't know Fungus' speed stat. <laughs> Here's Volibee. And there's Trick Room. Okay. Fungus, Pollen Puff, Rage Powder, Spore Protect. Exactly what you would expect. Nothing crazy. Um, I think I can just double protect here, but I would worry about a side Pollen Puff. A Gleam would be solid here, so I think I want to detect. Oh, maybe I throw a Snarl, maybe I throw a Brave Bird into Hatena. Just get rid of that. I mean, if they heal, Snarl's fine. And if they don't, Snarl will knock it out. Yeah, I think it's fine. Oh, a swap, okay. If this is just Munchlax. Launcher, okay, I'm glad I like the Snarl then. 
I like the snarl a lot. Uh, going for a spore blocked. Oh no, I have overcoat. That's how that works. <laughs> Alright. Uh, and it is open teach. He, he saw the he saw the spore. It's fine. Okay. Now I'm worried about a spore into mind foo, which probably is what's coming. I will try to knock off the Fungus' Eviolite. And then Clauncher is gonna hit me with a Dragon Pulse, Dark Pulse, Aura, Aura Sphere, Water Pulse. Not too worried about any of that. I think I just want to snarl it down again. Just slow them down as much as possible. Yeah, because here comes a Dragon Terra Dragon Pulse? That's what it looks like. That's cool. I wonder how much damage that can do. Like, it'll be at minus one when it launches, but it could probably still do some damage. I don't know what its stats look like at all. <laughs> Clontrick could be 100 special attack, I don't know. Or a spear, okay. Oh, no, Volibee takes that just fine. That wasn't so bad. Not stab. Minus one. Now you're minus two. Okay. I should be able to get out of this trick room. Mostly unscathed. My only fear is them pollen puffing up Hatena again so that they can set Trick Room again. So I just gotta keep pressure on that Clauncher slot. Two turns of Trick Room. Still wanna knock off the Fungus though. And then I think there might be a swap from Clauncher, so I'm gonna Brave Bird it. That'll do. That'll. Mm, will it take Hatena after. though? Because Hatena would get a Pollen Puff if it comes if they come in inside Pollen Puff. Hatena would get the Pollen Puff first before my Brave Bird, so it probably takes that. But then again, I don't know. I don't know stats. Yeah, there goes Clauncher. I want to see Hatena. I don't want to see Munchlax. Drifloon. Oh, that's different. Okay. Snarl spam it is. All special attackers. And you break my sash. Okay. That does. A lot of damage. Oh, that was a crit. Okay. Like, minus two Fungus hitting. I should have been using an offensive Fungus. Oh, that does not do much damage. Okay. And they're going to get the burn. Uh, they've got Thunderbolt, Shadow Ball, Air Cutter. Oh, sick. Okay, I need to get out of this Air Cutter. Because Air Cutter could hurt mine, Foo. I would like to come back in later. So, I'll go to Chincho. That should be safe. I'm worried about Thunderbolt in this slot, too. Uh, maybe I should try to wake up and detect and bring in Chinchu here. Because if Mindfu can't wake up anyway next turn, swapping it out would be a little bit of a waste. Since I would then have that sleep turn later. Chinchu! Shiny! Yay! Yeah, Mindfu's still asleep. Alright, if you want to take it out with Air Cutter, go ahead. I don't I don't even care anymore. Yeah, let's pull him up into Chincho. Catch a Thunderbolt. Yes! Good job, Chinchu. Alright, now we're in. Twisted Dimensions returned to normal. Uh, I think I get Bullaby in on the Mindfu slot. I tear a grass. And what do they got? Terra normal Drifloon? Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'll lock Ice Beam, Thunderbolt. Um, I like Thunderbolt. I like Ice Beam. Yeah, Ice Beam hits everything they've got left. Ice Beam the Drifloon. Should be fine, should be fine. Okay, here's Volibee. And here's my Terra. This is mostly for Rage Powder, but also potentially Spore. So I think I can sweep the rest of their team with Chinchu. Though if they call the Terra and go for like Air Cutter and are faster, I don't know the speeds on these Pokemon. Okay, we're faster, that's good. Yeah, on a Trick Room team, the Drift Driftloon is probably trained to be slow. I don't know what its base speed is. But I've got some speed on my Chinchu. Yep, and there's Spore. Which was that Chinchu? Cool. Good Terra. Alright, Chinchu Volibee. 
two Pokemon who are not very good when they're evolved. I guess Mandibuzz is okay. But Lantern. Whoa, Lantern is bad. It's pretty interesting. Because they've got some Pokemon that are actually really good when they're evolved. But some that are bad. Whereas my team... I don't know. Is most of my team bad when it's evolved? I guess Sinistra and Incin oh, I mean Incineroar is amazing, so... I've got a mix. Uh, let's go Brave Bird Fungus and keep spamming Ice Beam. Because respects. Yes, Rage Powder will not deter me because I am Terra Grass. You're not getting Trick Room. Goodbye. Oh, Hatena, it's so cute when it fell! I love Hatena. I, I look at these baby Pokemon. I, they, so, they're so cute. Some of them are so cute. I don't know about Fungus. I don't think Fungus is all that cute. That was a crit? Fungus, you're insane! Man! Eviolite's a crazy item. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I'm glad we got item claws so you can only have one of those things. Uh, and then here's Clauncher, but it's Dragon Terra. So Ice Beam. Uh, and I think I'll also Brave Bird it. Just for good measure. It can't protect anyway. Whew. Nice, nice, nice. Nice job, Chinchu. I'm glad I went with Ice Beam. I was considering, like, Grass Terra Blast, but, like, then you can't hit a Grass type, and then it's like, what other move do you draw? And Brave Bird. I'm not sure why a little baby thing like this can use Brave Bird? That's the crazy thing, because some signature moves you don't get when, until you evolve, but then these big moves you can just have. You can have, like, a Magby with Flare Blitz, why not? Minus two. Not so much damage. Would that have been an Oko with a crit? Hmm. Would have been close. Alright, yeah, we got this Fungus now. Alright, let's go on to game two. Boom, boom. Alright, here we go. Game two. Uh, how do I want to play this time? Uh, I could use Poltergeist to good effect to reverse Trick Room. Uh, I imagine Fungus might not come this time from how well I countered it, uh, but I still have to respect it. Um, is there anything that can blow up Hatena? I mean, I guess I could double Hatena with just two Pokemon immune to Rage Powder. Chinchu plus Vullaby doubling into it should be enough. So I think that's my plan, just prevent that. Uh, and then bring Mind Food to beat Munchlax. If Munchlax comes, it didn't even come the first time. I guess I respected it too much. Uh, and then... Mudbray? No, there's a lot that Mudbray doesn't want to fight here. I don't think it's Mudbray, but Mudbray just has the stats. I guess Munchlax... Hmm. I mean, Munchlax has Ice Punch, so Poltergeist isn't it. And Litten... I mean, Fake Out, Overheat Party, it's okay. Uh, I'm gonna go Mudbray last. Go with the horse, of course. I don't think anything's the right last one. I think those... I think the three that I brought first... I think those are the right three here. I think. I mean, Chinchu's been putting out big damage. Uh, I know Mudbray's good. Because it got an Eviolite. Mindfu, Mindfu hasn't done anything. Mindfu, what, it did a fake out and then it went to sleep for the rest of the game. Oh, Fue Coco is the change up. Cool. Alright, uh, I have to worry about a Will-O-Wisp. Uh, what else that thing does? It has Roar, Willow, Flamethrower, Snarl. Hatena does have Protect. This could be like a Protect Willow or a Protect Snarl. Uh, it's a Water Terra Fue Coco. I think I need to commit to doubling Hatena. I think I'm gonna Thunderbolt it. I think Parting Shot out, that doesn't get me anything. I think I'm gonna Thunderbolt it and throw a Brave Bird at it. If it's a Protect and a Willow or a Protect and a Snarl, that's just a good play. Uh, but I'm... I'm I'm willing to sacrifice a weakness to that play to try to prevent Trick Room. Yeah, okay, here's the Trick Room play, good. I'm glad I went with this. That almost KOs, that's beautiful. And down goes Hatena. Goodbye, Trick Room. I didn't want to play in Trick Room anyway. And just a roar, okay. Just cycling me out, no big deal. Without your Trick Room setter, whatever. 
I'll be a mind foo. I like that. I'll take a fake out turn, thanks. Uh, it's goggles on the Fue Coco. I don't even have a fungus, so whatever. I do have rage powder. I didn't, I didn't bring it, but. Oh, there's Munchlax. Okay. Terra Ghost Munchlax. With Iapapa Berry Belly Drum. I think. Ah. Uh, I don't want to get burned. So I think I actually need to double the Fue Coco? No, I hit, need to hit this thing with a knockoff while I can. Thunderbolt the Fue Coco. Wish I had logged into Scald now. But yeah, Thunderbolt Fue Coco and... Knockoff Munchlax. It's gotta be a Terra from Munchlax, right? Oh, Fue Coco swap. Okay. Interesting. Into a Fungus. Oh, that'll eat this. Oh, is it a Protect then? So then you can redirect? Nope, it is a Terra. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, gotcha. I don't know my damage calcs at all in this tier, so I cannot tell you how much this knockoff is about to do. I just know it's gonna be good. <laughs> it's gonna do good damage. I don't know if that means half or an Oko. Okay, half. I'll take it. That's good damage. The next one doesn't KO, though. I'll, I'll need to double up and KO it. I don't know if Thunderbolt KOs from there, either. Belly Drum? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. That's perfect. Chinchu, go ahead and Thunderbolt that Munchlax for me. And I will bring in Vullaby. I'm surprised Fungus still came. I thought the I thought the changeup was not having Fungus, but the changeup was not having Clauncher, I guess? Huh. And Drifloon. Wow. A weird changeup. Bullaby's back on the field. I'm gonna go ahead and ignore your Rage Powder. Now, with how little that knockoff did, I don't think Specs Thunderbolt picks up the Munchlax, if I'm being honest. Munchlax is insane. Uh, but I don't need to KO it right here. It didn't get the Belly Drum, so it's not all that threatening. Yeah, Rage Powder, but I did commit the Terra. That would have stopped me from going for another knockoff, at least. Ooh, but Thunderbolt does it. Perfect. Perfect. Now we double the Fue Coco, and game over. Fue Coco does not have Protect, and it's Terra Water. Oh, they already Terra. Okay. Go team. These babies are powerful. So powerful. Oh, and it's Roy's Fue Coco? That's adorable. I didn't even notice. It's Roy's Fue Coco. Go get Ray, Ray, Go get Roy's Fue Coco if you haven't already. Thunderbolt. No, not Protect. Brave Bird. Sorry, Roy's Fue Coco. Bet this never happened to you in the end. Ooh, that took that well, actually. I expect... What? Yo! Roy, what are you feeding that thing? Uh, not calcium, apparently. <laughs> yeah, and you got nothing better to do, so I'm throw a spore. Okay. Wow! Wait, Coco ate the double up. That thing's a beast! I spoke too soon, but, uh, no, it's still over. Thunderbolt and Snarl. Thunderbolt toward the Fungus now and Snarl to start chipping that down. This game's over. Right. <laughs> oh, I just got a text. Someday I'll remember Overcoat stops that. <laughs> yeah, someday, someday. That that's part of that's part of what makes Mandeva's ability so good. Overcoat. I used it in the uh, in another match to block Sandstorm Chip, and in this one I'm blocking Rage Powder and Spore. Ooh, did I miss Fue Coco? No, I missed. It doesn't matter. Okay. <clears throat> if I missed Fue Coco there and they pollen puffed it. Uh, but no, it's not an offensive power puff. Chinchu is down. Power puff? <laughs> no, pollen puff. Chinchu, no! His eyes look like it's already gone. Uh, any way for Fungus to bring this back? No, I got Brave Bird. Uh, they burned Terra. No, no, we're good. But they are? Were they Covert Cloak? No, they're Eviolite. Right, right. So knock off into Brave Bird. Should seal the deal. 
Get rid of that item. That did no damage. That thing's so tanky. Maybe mine food just isn't as strong as I think it is. And goodbye, Fungus. You little Pokeball guy. GG's. This is fun. This is so much fun. I love using babies. I wish the ladder would allow babies. I mean, they're allowed, but they're not good. Alright, Aquamoth's cooking up a Sand Rush team. Clear Amulet. Uh, oh, Eevee Light, Hippopotas with Fissure, yo. Uh, Discharge, Watchroll, Terra Electric. Volt Absorb. No, Voltorb with Static and Discharge. Wow, a Ponyard with Stellar Terra. Uh, and Follow Me Magby with Goggles. Yo. Yo, that's sick. Uh, Alright, what's my plan? Uh, I think my Mud Bray is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Being immune to electric is huge. Uh, I'll have to worry about Fissure a lot though. Uh, so how can I get Hippopotas to not mess with me? Uh, I could throw a Toxic down on it with Vullaby. That's not the worst. Uh, Chincho can do some big damage, but it'll probably tear a grass if I go that route. Uh, I'm a little worried about bringing Litten. But I like Vullaby, I like Chincho. Wait, I think I'll lead Vullaby. Uh, and then is Poltergeist good? Poltergeist is good, it also threatens, but I think I need something to hit the Hippopotas if it terrestrializes. I also need some fake outs. Ooh, I think I'm bringing Litten. I'm scared to bring Litten, but I'm gonna bring Litten. Because they have Clear Amulet on the, on the uh, what's that called, Drillbur. And they presumably have Defiant, yeah, they have Defiant Ponyard. Oh boy, all right. And the Follow Me Flame Body Magby isn't anything to scoff at either. Okay. Okay. Oh, and there they are with the Hippopotas. Me, I still got my Chandelure, my classic. Alright. We are looking at... Watchroll and Voltorb. Okay, Voltorb has Leaf Storm. Worry about that. Uh, they also, they'll also both have electric moves. They got Electroweb Discharge, Volt Switch, and they got Discharge, Volt Switch, Air Slash. Okay. I'm terrified of Leaf Storm. Terra Steel could put me in a bad position. Uh, I wanted Vullaby for later, honestly. Uh, uh, I think Vullaby can go out to Chincho here. I think I'll just protect. Get the Chinchu in. See what that Voltorb's trying to do. That Leaf Storm is so scary. Here's my shiny Chinchu. Isn't he pretty? He's a little green, I don't know. Yeah, there's Leaf Storm. Uh, Mud Break can probably take one, but it's gonna hurt. And there's a Volt Switch that we blocked with Volt Absorb. Fantastic. Alright. Chinchu with Ice Beam could do a lot. Uh, I'd be worried about the Leaf Storm going into this slot though. Like, I could swap both, but then like, uh, I don't know. I think Terra Steel is fine. Throw a big Rock Slide. Ugh, I'm gonna stay in. I'm gonna stay in and I'm gonna Ice Beam. Alright, this is my Terra. My Terra should be going last. I'm definitely slower than those guys over there. I'm a min speed mud bray. Oh, he's so cute! Look at the little horse with the axe on his head! Oh my goodness! And there's a leaf storm. Okay, good. It was into mud bray. Awesome. I got the call right. Uh, there's an air slash also into mud bray. We eat that. We can't flinch either because of our inner focus. There's Ice Beam. That should either take out or do a lot. Takes it out. Beautiful. Oh, there's a crit, so now we'll never know. I would have liked to learn that. Uh, but Watchroll, I doubt, takes a single target box slide from Mud Bray. I think this takes it out. Yeah, that's gone. Awesome. All right, we got the lead. We also used our electric immunities to take out their two electric types. So, I mean... <laughs> Alright, Carmen the Great. Ooh, the Great. Ooh, a big hippo. 
and Toph the Teeny. Yep, that's Drillbur. Alright. I'm scared. Uh, they did not use Terra. They could Earthquake. Oh, I got two ground weaknesses out here now. Yikes. Okay. One slot should definitely swap into my bird. They have Flying Terra Blast and Rock Slide on Drillbur. I could protect Mudbray. Kinda wish I had boosted with it before. Got a defense boost. Yeah, I'm gonna protect and I'm gonna get the bird in. Come on, Vullaby, I need you. Because, I mean, it can't do much with Snarl, but Toxic could be good into that Hippopotas. That Hippopotas is going to be impossible to take out. And now we get to see the Terra. I, th I think it would be flying on Drillbur. Yeah. Good. Good to see. Uh, it's not good. <laughs> it's good to see. Because uh, now we know what it's going to be. I was a little worried about Grass Hippopotas being really hard to take down. Uh, okay, good call with the Rock Slide. That might do half to Vullaby. It does not. That's great. And there's an Earthquake. Okay, that doesn't hit anybody right now. Uh, rock Slide, super effective, is 150. But as a spread, it's 0. 0.75 times 150. is 112.5. So Terra Blast is a little stronger because it's 120 after stab. But I think we can eat a Terra Blast. Okay. Good. I'm gonna throw a Rock Slide back at Toph. And Toxic Carmen. Okay, they're just going for another Rock Slide. Mudbreak cannot flinch. So that's one good thing going here. And there's a little bit of poison for your Hippo. Your Hippo's on a big timer. Let's see how much it actually does. Mudbray can take some hits. I got the Eviolite on this thing. That wasn't bad. Alright. Oh no, don't miss. Okay, you hit the important one. <laughs> That's all that matters. Um, let's see. They got Slack Off, Protect, Earthquake, Fissure, High Horsepower, Rock Slide, Terra Blast, Protect. No way of really abusing my Double Protect here, so I'm going to do it. Get the Toxic going, get the Sand to be one turn shorter. It's the play. But they're putting on so much pressure. Oh my goodness. I don't know how I'm going to get ever out of this. Because like, Sand doesn't hit their Drillbur because of the Sand Rush. Which is a cool mechanic. But this tax is going to have to do something eventually. Um, do I swap in Litten? If I swap in Litten, I think Mudbray can take a hit. Maybe. Uh, Vullaby could definitely take a hit if I swapped in Litten. I could use that. Yeah, I could bring in Litten. And Brave Bird their Toph. No, no, because the Intimidate won't work on that slot. It'll only work on the other slot. Alright, so I need to rock slide their Toph and bring Litten in here for the Intimidate. Man. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, yeah, Drillbur's got the amulet. But your hippo is scared of my key. Alright, rock slide hits full. Big damage to Litten, oh my goodness. There's Earthquake. I'm hoping at minus one, Mudbray can take this. Yes! 6 HP! Let's go! Now I also have to hit this Rock Slide. But I think I win if I hit the Rock Slide. And I do. Perfect. Whew! Now, now, now we're playing the Slack Off games. Uh, so I definitely, I go into... What do they got? Slack off, protect, earthquake, fissure. Yeah, they can never KO my bird. That's game. Alright. 
Well done, team! Everyone was important to this. I'll just protect you and... Snarl, I guess. I don't want to Brave Bird myself. Are we, are we gonna play the slack off games here? No, just going for the earthquake. Okay. Fissure earthquake protects slack off. Yeah, you can't, you can't win here. Go ahead and forfeit. <laughs> All right, are they, are they gonna play it out to the end? They want, they want to get one more KO here. Uh, I want to see how much Chinchu takes from Earthquake, if that's what they're going for. But I'm happy to just keep throwing Snarls, because I'm not going to hurt myself with Brave Bird, because they got Slack off. And I could eventually KO myself, maybe. Snarl's doing decent damage, though. Fissure and it connects! <laughs> Well, I know how much Chinchu takes from that. <laughs> Beautiful play. Beautiful. And does it go down now? There we go. Alright, that's game one. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Alright. Let's go on to game two. Alright, game two. How do I want to play this one? Because I don't want to Terrastalize Mudbray. Mudbray is so good staying a ground type. Unless it gets fissured. I hope it doesn't get fissured. Uh, so I think I actually want to preserve it in the back. Or maybe even do a fake out lead, but I can't fake out their Voltorb. And that, they, they played smart. They forced my Terra on it before. Uh, Litten, not great. I think I want Poltergeist this time in the back. But I could lead Chinchu. Do I even want Litten? Not really. Litten didn't do that well into anything they brought. And it took so much damage from Rock Slide. Uh, so Poltergeist is being slotted in over Litten. That means I got Vullaby, Mudbray, Chinchu. Chinchu, Vullaby first? Mudbray in the back and Poltergeist? Or do I lead Poltergeist get up Trick Room? I think this is fine. I've got I've got a pivot with Chinchu in front. Though Volt Switch isn't super safe when they got ground types. But we'll see what happens. We will see. Leading very differently. Wow, okay. Magby Ponyard. Uh, does this follow me swords dance? Oh, uh, they've got they've got follow me willow, flamethrower, protect. Terra grass. Ooh, that could be annoying. Yeah, and the Ponyard does have swords dance. Sucker Punch, Iron Head, Protect. I think what I want to do is try to Scald the Ponyard. And try to Brave Bird it. If they go for... Okay, they didn't... They didn't go for Terra Follow Me. Are they just going to Double Protect to see what I lock into? They are. Okay, that's fine. I wonder if Scald plus Brave Bird can take a Terra Grass mon uh whatchamacallit? Magby. Magby's so cute. Bullaby's so cute too. Okay, so they see the Scald. They see what I like to go for here. I think Scald is fine. There's stel Stellar Terra on their Ponyard. So Mudbray can clean them up later. Could it be a Willow onto my Vullaby? 
I'm going to throw a Brave Bird. I'm going to throw it into Ponyard as well. Okay, they do follow me. But they don't Terra. So I think Brave Bird plus Super Effective Scald would be enough. Oh, Scald alone is enough. Specs Chinchu, let's go. That's beautiful. That's exactly perfect. And since Chinchu went first, Bullaby can break the Sash here. That's awesome. Wow, Chinchu did damage. All right, here's the Swords Dance. That's scary. That's really scary. Uh, but Sucker Punch isn't going to do anything to Vullaby, at least. <laughs> Iron Head could. We also saw we're faster, so we're not going to have to worry about... I we're going to have to worry about Sucker Punch, though. I could see Voltorb maybe coming in here if you have that. Or do you have the Sand Package in back? This looks like Sand Package is in the back. All right. I could Terra here. I don't want to Terra Mudbray. Terraing Poltergeist would also be bad. So I, I think Chinchu is my Terra. Terra Grass Scald there. Do I want to bring in Mudbray on a potential Iron Head? No, not really. I want to save Mudbray. I think some Brave Bird damage onto the Drill Bird is better than trying to throw a Toxic or something. Uh, here's my Terra. I would be going before Ponyard. I don't know the speed interaction, though, between this and Drill Bird. Because I've got some speed investment, but not a lot. And also, who knows the speed tiers between Chinchu and a Drill Bird? If you do, go ahead and write them in the comments, but I, I don't. Okay, good. It was a high horsepower. Skull does so much damage! Let's go! Let's go, Chinchu! Whoa! This thing's a beast! Brave Bird does a chunk, too! Wow, baby Pokemon don't got defenses! <laughs> uh, except the Hippopotas, which is in the back. Yeah, there it is. That has defenses, because that's got an Eviolite. Uh, they gotta go for Rock Slide, basically, and try to flinch something. Do you have Protect on Hippopotas? Yes. I think I want to Scald at Toph and Toxic at Carmen. Okay, Protect from Drill Bird, that's fine. Uh, it could be a double protect? It's not. Alright. Getting the toxic on Hippopotas is huge. I think just with the toxic, I can win the game. Cool. I nailed it. Beautiful. Good job, Bullaby. Good job not missing that. I was considering, uh, when building this team, just going for... Fissure on a Chinchu. That's a respectable play. I get that play. That makes sense. If you land that, you get a lot of momentum. Uh, but what I was saying about Bullaby, I was considering in team building going Terra Poison specifically just so I could avoid missing with Toxic, since Poison types can't miss Toxic. Uh, but here, I think we're good to double into Taw. In case one of us flinches, the other one can do the job. Uh, here's a Terra. It must be a Terra from... yeah, just, to, just so you can Earthquake, I guess. I don't know. I'd keep, I'd keep clicking fissures. Uh, just to protect. Then I don't understand that, Terra. Oh, Terra Blast! Right, I forgot about that. Okay, bye, Chinchu. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> forgot about that one. Uh, but at least I Brave Birded the correct slot then. So I don't have to worry about you anymore. All right. And once again, we've got the flying type versus the only having ground moves. So we got this. Uh, we're actually going to do a game three, regardless. So stay tuned for that. Or stay tuned for all of these. I don't know how many of these matches I'm putting into one video. But you know. You can probably see. You probably got a bar at the bottom of your screen that says. All right, we saw the power of Chincho. We saw the power of Mudbray. Let's see if we can get Poltergeist to do something. 
I think I'll go Poltergeist Mind Foo this game, just, just as a change-up. Mudbray in the back to sweep under Trick Room. I like that a lot. Uh, and I think I still need Bullaby. Just to have something immune to Hippopotas. Yep. That's the plan. Going a completely different route. I mean, I already, I already won two games, so I mean... If Aquamoth beats me here, I think I'll be alright. Alright. What are they gonna go for? Oh, sand right away. I kinda like that, but also it's a little scary. Uh, I've got Giga Drain, which is cool. Uh, I can definitely fake out one of those. Ah, oh, but the other one's so slow. You know, it's not that easy. It's not gonna be easy to get Mudbray in. Uh, I think I'll Trick Room and just, I need to fake out Toph. This is gonna be a Terra Blast coming. But then I could easily get Fissured. Okay, a Protect and Drillbur. Oh, okay, just a double Protect, that's fine. That's perfectly fine with me. And let me get my Trick Room. Cool. Uh, I'm expecting a Terra Flying Earthquake plus Terra Blast into Poltergeist, maybe? That play makes a lot of sense. So I could bring in both Vullaby and Mudbray here. Yeah, and I want Mudbray in on the Mind Foo slot because I don't want it to take too much damage. Let's see what we're doing. Alright, so uh, this is also revealing my whole team, so... <laughs> you now know what I'm doing. I would like to get rid of that Hippopotas as soon as possible. Fissure is, like, super scary. Alright, what do we got? Terra Flying? Yep, I'm expecting Terra Blast. We'll go into what is now Volaby. And then I'm expecting just an Earthquake. Which is just a good play. Uh, but in the opposite order, because Trick comes up. Right. Alright, heat it up, Mudbray. Yeah, that did nothing. Terra Blast. Point that at my bird, please. Thank you. Excellent. Uh, I think I want to Curse and Toxic here. I think Toxic is my best play into Hippopotas, and I think they might protect. And even if they don't protect Drillbur, I still want to Curse. Because I want to do enough damage. I think a plus one rock slide can probably knock them out. But there's no way I knock it out otherwise. And I could double it with rock slide and brave bird, but then I'm worried about protect. Because that play might be too obvious. Uh, they're going to click fissure on my mud break. There's no getting around that. <laughs> I'm a, okay, they don't protect anything. Got to get around this one fissure. If I can dodge one fissure... I think I'm in a great position. Oh, it's just Earthquake. Oh, okay. I'm not too worried about just Earthquake. Throw the fissure. We oh, we miss our Toxic. Okay. And high horsepower and Mudbray as well. All right, you're wearing me down. Uh, I think you now are expecting the Toxic still. Two turns of Trick Room remain. One way I have to get around Fissure is redirecting it. So I think I'll bring in Poltergeist, take a little bit of healing, throw a Rock Slide, which probably knocks out Drillbur, and can flinch Hippopotas. Yeah, this seems good. And Poltergeist, it also gets hospitality, just like its big form. Here, have a drink. Uh, oh, protect from Drillbur. Okay. Going for the fissure now? Can I flinch you, please? 
It, it's so hard to land a fissure through rock slides. Like, the odds of that are so low. Oh, okay. Whew. <laughs> Scary. Uh, one turn of trick room left. Yeah, I think I will rage powder and rock slide. I could have considered Giga Drain, but I would rather keep the Fissure off of my horse. And that should be enough. Yeah, okay. My damage count from the previous game was accurate. Goodbye, Drover. Now, the problem is I'm running out of Trick Room, and I got them a free swap. Ooh, and I got the flinch. Okay. Could have Giga Drain for free. Uh, but now what else do you have? Magby would be annoying. Magnanimo. Oh, Voltorb. Alright, Leaf Storm incoming. Can't Rage Powder the Leaf Storm, uh, so I set Trick Room. Uh, and you try to Fissure me. But who do you try to Fissure? Well, I'll either get Trick Room up, or I'll get High Horsepower on your Voltorb. Either either situation's great, because I still I saved Vullaby, so I have Vullaby for the end game versus Hit the Hippo. Now there are ways to call this. This could be a Volt Switch into your Flying type if you have it. That would be a, that would be a funny call. Just Bolt Switch onto my Mudbray. You have Volt Switch. You also have Discharge. Ah, oh, they called it! Good Discharge. Didn't do much damage, though. Fissure misses again. It was on Poltergeist. Okay. So this high horsepower was happening one way or another. Goodbye, Voltorb. Hello, Trick Room. Once again. Cool. The horse is doing well. I like it. I like it a lot. That hippo kept hitting those fissures, though. We, I, we would be in trouble. Okay, they did have a flying type in the back. I just rock slide it. It probably protects. Whatever. Uh, can I lose to that Pokemon? Yes. So I should rage powder away the fissures while I try rock sliding, because they're gonna protect, and they're gonna try to fissure the horse, but I can't allow them to fissure the horse. And I would be slower than Hippopotas anyway, but the curse just makes me even slower. So I'm going... All okay, Earthquake. Uh, going for a crit then, or calling the Rage Powder at least? That wasn't too much damage. Oh, it was a crit on Poltergeist. Oh, a crit on Mudbray would have done me in. Let's eat that berry up and get some health back. And then let's... Just finally start throwing Giga Drains and Rock Slide should clean up that bird. Oh, I guess I could still miss them. That bird could sweep my team if it keeps dodging Rock Slides. So it's not over, over. It's never over. Where, where there's a Rock Slide, there's a run. Okay, Rock Slide takes it. There we go. <laughs> okay. Alright, Hippo. I got you in checkmate. Go ahead and take out my horse now if you want. Nope, you don't want to. Okay. And now, Giga Drain, because I don't get Macha Gacha until I evolve. And you're not allowed to evolve. It's little cut. Little babies. Giga Drain ends it, and... Let's see if a high horsepower can KO from here. Yeah, get a Mudbray. Mudbray is so good. Oh, this thing is so good. I love it. Good games, Aquamoth. That was a lot of fun. Good choice of babies. GG. Alright, here we go versus Evan. Evan's got a sick team. Sure Force, Light Orb, Kranidos, Flame Orb, Drifloon, Eevee Light, Elekid. A Litten with Will O Wisp is annoying. Water Absorb, Cacnea with Swords Dance, Seed Bomb. And a Surfing, Skrelp. Alright. Uh, how do I handle any of that? 
Uh, well, I like Mind Fu a lot, actually. Uh, just for like a fake out lead. Not much to do about that, other than just bring some protect. Um, I guess I could also. Like, Cacnea is something that scares me a lot because I could go for like Ice Beam, but they could Terra Fire. They Terra Fire Mudbray's good. I guess I could also have Volibee. Mudbray, I'm mostly worried about their Litten. So I need to get rid of their Litten. So maybe I just lead Chinchu. I can Bolt Switch around, I can try to hit their Litten. Have Mudbray, because Mudbray is just my best Mon. Uh, if I can get rid of their Litten so they can't burn me, I'm set. And then if I'm so scared of Litten, do I need my own Litten? Do I need Poltergeist to redirect and maybe even Terra Fire it? That doesn't sound bad. Yeah, alright. Um, not having my own Intimidate might be rough against Krenidos. Uh, but the Cacnea is Clear Amulet anyway. Uh, the Litten just has Flare Blitz. I don't know how much damage that's going to really do. So Intimidate isn't that valuable. Decent card. Uh, except in the Cronidos. Cronidos is going to hurt really bad. Alright, Drifloon Cronidos right away. And they're shiny. Very cool. Uh, Drifloon has Tailwind. Okay. It's Terra Fairy, Shadow Ball, Air Cutter, Tailwind Protect. Cronidos also has Protect. I don't see them not wanting to click Protect. Um, I could bring in Mudbray here. Mudbray isn't particularly threatened. I could bring Mudbray in on either slot. And just go for a close combat into Cranidos. Like, I don't want to just click Fake Out. I feel like that's kind of a waste. Uh, I think it's going to be a double protect from them anyway. But I just want Mudbray in while Litten isn't. Okay, we are seeing a Terra. From Drifloon. That's fine. Terra Fairy. Alright. So my knockoff into that wasn't going to do much. Uh, I guess I could have gone for Fake Out there. And Cronidos protects. That's fine. Alright, they get the Tailwind, but I've got a slow mod anyway, whatever. Uh, Kranidos with Zen Headbutt, Iron Head, Rock Slide, Drifloon with Air Cutter, Shadow Ball, Tailwind. Uh, I'm guessing it's Air Cutter plus Rock Slide. Kranidos is vulnerable now. Mudbray can't flinch for having Inner Focus and for them having Sheer Force. Um, I could even Terra Steel Mudbray if I really wanted to. I'm worried about Mind Food getting doubled up into. I could get it out, I could protect it. I think I will go with Detect and High Horsepower into Kranidos. I'm a little worried that they double up with like Iron Head Shadow Ball into Mudbray, but no, it is just Air Cutter. I'm hoping it's also just Rock Slide. Air Cutter might hurt. Oh no, that's fine. And Rock Slide, yeah, Rock Slide's not so bad. I mean, we'll see how much a Sheer Force Life Orb Rock Slide does. That does a chunk. But at least it can't flinch. And Cronidos is gone. Yes, alright. I will take that. That's great. Starting to stall out this tailwind a little bit. Uh, you could bring in Litten for Will O Wisp pressure, but the Intimidate's not going to do anything. Uh, it's Skrelp. Okay. Skrelp has Muddy Water and Surf and Dragon Pulse. But it's a Poison type, and I can high horsepower it.
think I want to get Mind Fu out into Poltergeist even just to heal up Mudbray. Can also take a water move well. Air Cutter would hurt, but I don't know if they're going for that. And then I need to Terra Steel. And they need to take out Skrulp. Skrulp is the thing I can knock out here, so I'm going for it. They've got Assault Vest, so they're not going to be getting away from this. They already Terrastalized, so they're not going to be getting away from this. And here's my Terra. Uh, I do expect it to be a muddy water, and it could be an air cutter, or it could be a shadow ball. I'm not really sure if they're trying to read what Mind Fu did there. Okay, it was just an air cutter. That hurts. That hurts a lot. <laughs> that berry is so much bigger than Poltergeist, though. <laughs> Babies are adorable. Alright, and it was muddy water, but something dodges. Poltergeist dodges. Oh, and Mudbray dodges. I didn't need to Terra. High horsepower. Another delete button. Wow, Mudbray is just a delete button. Good luck ever breaking through this guy. Uh, now I'm a little worried though because... Oh, it's Cacnea. With Drain Punch. Slightly threatening. How's the Tailwind looking? Last turn of Tailwind. Air Cutter's just gonna delete Poltergeist. And I assume that's faster than their Cacnea. So Poltergeist isn't gonna be able to do anything. Chinchu, Quidlock, Ice Beam. Mind Fu's important too. I think if I'm going to lose something, it should be Poltergeist, so I'm going to go for a Trick Room and just a Rock Slide, just to deal some damage. Yeah, there was always a 5% chance that i just dodge that Air Cutter. Get a Trick Room up would be huge, but it's fine. I didn't want anything else to take it. And a Swords Dance from Cacnea. That's scary. I get my Rock Slide, and it does something. Not a ton, but something. Swords Dance Cagnia is scary, because it can also blow up Chinchu pretty easily. Uh, but I think I go to Mind Fu, get a fake out onto it, and get a curse up so my rock slides do even more. Because the Cagnia, the Cagnia has Protect. So does Driftloon. Drain Punch is probably going to hurt from Cagnia. But if I get the defense up, I'll be a little bit better. Ah, uh, Driftloon Protect. I love to see that. And a Cagnia. A double Protect is perfectly fine by me. So I assume Mind Fu is actually faster than Cagnia. So you're not going to be able to double up into me. So I can just go for close combat. Cacnea is not going to appreciate that. Uh, is Cacnea a dark type? <laughs> Actually, I don't know. Let's find out. Cacnea is pure grass. Okay. So close combat might not KO, but it's pretty free. Close combat, and then now that I've got the defense boost, I'm not as scared, and we'll rock slide. Looks like it's going to be a double into Mudbray. CC does... does knock out Cacnea. Woo! Go Mind Fu. I guess it wasn't at full health, but wow. Glad to see that go down. And then Rock Slide should pick this up. There it goes. Okay. <laughs> Thought it missed. Uh, but it would have been fine. Alright, GG. Good game one. Let's go. Let's go. Mudbray so good. Alright, here we go again. Cronitos couldn't do much to Mudbray. Drifloon couldn't do much to Mudbray. I think they're gonna adapt to fight Mudbray this time somehow. I'm not sure exactly what their call is, though. 
Uh, I want to use... Maybe I want to get up Trick Room. I could use Mind Fu Poltergeist to try to get up Trick Room turn one. A little weak to Drift Loon lead though, since I can't fake that out. In that case, I could go Poltergeist Mud Bray, Mind Fu in the back. Pretend I'm trying to get up Trick Room. Maybe call some hits over and then get a free curse up? There's a chance. Could also redirect. Could also tear a Poltergeist into fire, but then I'd be a little weak to Skrelp. Uh, in which case, Chinchu could work. Yeah, I do like Chinchu anyway. There are some threats to Chinchu, but overall, I think Chinchu's my best bet. Vullaby has some weaknesses, though it's good into Drifloon. Good into Cagney. Actually, Vullaby's fine too. I don't know. Chinchu or Vullaby could be last. I want to go Chinchu though. Just because I want to see what updates Evan makes this game. Alright. Because uh, I think it could be Litten coming. I think it could be Elekid coming. Either one of those Chinchu does well into. Just by clicking Scald. And being a water electric type. Uh, Cacnea and Drifloon for the lead. Okay. Terrifier Trick Room could work. Weak to Seed Bomb. I need to tear a fire. I mean, I'd be weak to Drain Punch anyway. I think Terrifier Trick Room is safe enough and just set up a curse. That way the second Seed Bomb won't do as much. Alright, there's my Sinistra. Uh, I don't think they're Terrasalizing then. Unless Cacne is slower than I thought it was. Yeah, there's Air Cutter. No big deal. And there's Swords Dance from Cacnea. Cool. But I will match that with my own boosts. And set this tricky room. Alright. Now let's see. Uh, I think I want to get Poltergeist out just for fun. Chinchu could come in pretty safely. Mindfu not so much. Uh, but I could go to Chinchu and even protect. Uh, but I think Rock Slide's fine. Like a plus two seed bomb plus a shadow ball when I'm at plus one defense? I think I live that combo. Unless the seed bomb crits. Don't quite take out Drifloon. There's Seed Bomb. That does a lot. And Drifloon flinches! Ooh! Ooh, that's rough. Let's see, I'm worried about the Seed Bomb going into Chinchu. So I'll swap in Sinistra and just protect here. That Seed Bomb did a lot of damage. So much damage. Way more damage than I was expecting. Alright, I was, I was, I was uh, underestimating Cacnea there. Wow. Let's heal up a little bit, get some Protect going. And a Protect from Cacnea too, okay. Just a shadow ball in a month. Okay, counting on like a rock slide miss. Fine. Drift Loon is gone. So now we got something brand new to worry about. Let's see, rock slide is 75 times 0.75 for being spread is 56.25. 
My horsepower is 95 times 1.5 over 2, 71.25. So actually, I could high horsepower the Cactian. Huh. I think I'll try to life do here. And we'll see if high horsepower can finish off Cacnea. Oh, here's a Terra. Is that from Skrelp? It is from Skrelp. Okay, just trying not to go down to high horsepower. Uh, plus one high horsepower might still. I don't know. Uh, but I'm not even going after you. I'm going after the Cacnea. Come on, do it. Ooh, so close. And there's Seed Bomb. Goodbye, Mudbray. Ah, so close. Uh, what's Skrulp doing? Is it gonna surf? Yeah, that's gonna hurt. And Poltergeist is down. Ooh, that hurts. Alright, just got Mind Fu and Chinchu. I don't know, this one's gonna be tough. Uh, at least Surf doesn't do much to Chinchu. But they also have Dragon Pulse, which will do a lot to Chinchu. Trick Room is up in one more turn. I have no idea about Cacnea Speed Tears, if I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I've got 92 speed, I don't know what that means in terms of Cacnea. I think I need to fake out the Cacnea. And can I lock in Ice Beam? Ice Beam's fine. I think it has to be Ice Beam. Alright, fake out Cacnea. Cacnea was gonna move first in Trick Room. That's good to know. That's really good to know. That means I can outspeed it. Big damage. Oof. How much does Ice Beam do? I like that damage. I can work with that damage. Close combat Skrelp and Ice Beam Cacnea, but then they could get something else in. I guess it's better to not lose my defense if Cacnea protects. So I'll close combat the Cacnea. Ice Beam the Skrelp. Unfortunately, I can't let them just get another Surf off or a Dragon Pulse, maybe. So this is just the right play for them. I guess it would probably be a Dragon Pulse into Chinchu, because my Mind Fu could have protected there. If Chinchu had protect, I probably would have double protected there. But all right, let's see what they got last. If it's Elekid, okay, it's Cronidos. Cronidos should be fine. Cronidos should go down to a close combat, I would think. Hope it's not faster than Mindfu. I think I'm max speed. Again, I don't know what the speed tiers are. <laughs> My Mindfu's max speed. Is that faster than a Cronidos? I don't know. I'll click close combat there. And I'll click Ice Beam on Cacnea. And we'll just see what happens. CC, okay, we are faster. Cronidos is gone. Alright, that should be game. Unless I was speed tying this Cacnea. This was a, this was a fun match. Uh, Mudbray didn't just carry. Everyone got to put in some work. And there goes Cacnea. Woo! Alright, good games, Evan. Good shinies, too. I didn't go out and get shinies, I just happened to have a Chinchu in home that my mom sent me, so I went with it. GG's. Alright, we're back. Thank you so much everyone. Uh, John Luke BGC, I'll make sure to link you uh, in the description below. Go check them out. Uh, thank you Evan, thank you Aquamoth, thank you Darth. Uh, this was a blast. I somehow won every match I entered. I guess Bud Bray is just that good. Uh, <laughs> didn't know that would be the case. Uh, I, was, I was looking at the list, I was thinking maybe Munchlax, I think Munchlax has the highest base stat total that was legal, so I thought that might be the best mod. Uh, I think we only saw it once though, and it wasn't too bad. Uh, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this too, this was super fun. Uh, and I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.